Welcome, the weather maps are clear. This winter will be long, cold, and snowy across the U.S. It's shaping up to be a season much like the memorable winter of 2013-2014. Expect winter to start early and linger, so get your warm gear ready. A strong Arctic pattern will drive deep, persistent cold over much of the country. This isn't your average winter chill. Expect frequent storms and heavy snow, especially in the Midwest, Great Lakes, and Northeast. Even some southern states could see wintry weather. Once the cold sets in, it'll be tough to shake. The storm track will be active, bringing snow events from November through February. Cities like Chicago and Buffalo could see above-average snow, while New York and Philadelphia may get a few big storms. The consistent cold means snow will stick around, creating a beautiful but challenging landscape. Now is the time to prepare your home and car for winter. Have a plan for big storms and stay informed. We'll break down the forecast month by month, highlighting the coldest and snowiest regions. From the Midwest to the Northeast and even the West, we'll cover what you need to know. Being prepared is your best defense against the intense winter ahead. The first signs of winter are already here as October ends. A surge of Arctic air is sweeping south, bringing a true blast of winter-like cold. The Midwest and Great Lakes will feel it first, with temperatures dropping well below normal. Daytime highs in cities like Chicago, and Detroit will only reach the mid-30s to low-40s, with nighttime lows in the teens. This early cold is a strong signal that winter is arriving ahead of schedule. The first snowflakes will fall as cold air moves over the Great Lakes, producing 2 to 4 inches in northern Minnesota, Michigan's Upper Peninsula, and northern Wisconsin. Snow before Halloween is a clear sign, winter means business this year. This early blast is just a preview of what's to come. The pattern of Arctic air moving south will repeat all winter, the first snow reminds everyone in the northern states to get ready. Shovels out, winter tires on. The chill of late October is a warning. Brace yourself. A long, snowy season is knocking at the door. Don't wait. Prepare now for what's coming. This is just the opening act for a very active winter. Stay alert and stay warm. Winter is arriving early and with force. November marks the true start of winter's grip. Snow becomes more widespread across the northern U.S., with the Midwest seeing multiple snow events. Cities like Chicago, Detroit, and Cleveland will see their first significant snow totals, up to 10 inches in Chicago, 8 in Detroit, and 7 in Cleveland. The snow will come from several storms, making travel tricky. In the Northeast, upstate New York and northern Pennsylvania will see 8-12 inches, much of it as lake-effect snow, Cities like Buffalo and Rochester will get heavy bursts from intense snow bands. November's snow sets the stage for the rest of winter, establishing a snow cover that keeps the air cold. The white blanket reflects sunlight, reinforcing the cold, and making future storms more likely to bring snow. This isn't just a temporary event, it's the start of a cold, snowy cycle. Roads will be slick, and winter hazards will increase. The snow cover will lock in the chill for months ahead. November's pattern is a warning. Winter is here to stay. Prepare for more frequent storms and accumulating snow. The Midwest and Northeast should expect a challenging start to the season. Early snow means a long winter ahead. Get ready for a true winter landscape. December brings full winter to the northern states. Snow cover will be widespread and the cold will be relentless. Highs in the Midwest and Great Lakes will often stay in the 20s to low 30s, with nights in the teens or single digits. Chicago could see another 12-16 inches of snow, Detroit 10-14, and Cleveland about 12. The Northeast, from upstate New York to New England, could see 15 inches or more. Boston and Burlington will get heavy snow from several storms. Even the Mid-Atlantic, Philadelphia, New York City, and D.C. will see a few snow events, with 4 or 6 inches possible. The deep snowpack will keep the cold locked in. The active storm track will continue, feeding the cycle of cold and snow. The more it snows, the colder it stays. And vice versa. December will feel like the heart of winter, not just the start. Expect travel disruptions and plenty of snow days. The holidays will arrive with a true winter wonderland outside. Bundle up. This is classic winter weather. The cold and snow will reinforce each other all month. December sets the tone for a memorable winter. 
January is the coldest month, and this year it will be brutal. The Midwest, Great Lakes, and Northern Plains will be the epicenter of Arctic cold. Highs will struggle to reach freezing, with lows often in the single digits or below zero. Chicago could get another 15-20 inches of snow, Detroit 12-18, to 18, and Buffalo over 20 inches. The Northeast will also see plenty of cold and snow, New York City and Boston could get 6-10 to 10 more inches. Snow will be lighter and fluffier, causing drifting and low visibility. Power outages are possible, so have extra blankets, flashlights and supplies ready. January will test our endurance and preparation. Travel will be difficult, and daily life will be disrupted. The heart of winter is a time to stay safe and warm. This is the month that defines the season. Be ready for nature's harshest conditions. February brings one last surge of winter. The snowy cold pattern continues across the northern U.S. Chicago and Detroit could see another 12-16 inches, Cleveland 10-12. By month's end, seasonal totals will be impressive. The persistent cold means snow piles won't melt soon. The Northeast, especially upstate New York and New England, could get 15 to 20 more inches. Nor'easters are likely, bringing heavy snow and mixed precipitation to the mid-Atlantic. Icy roads and power outages are a risk. Even the southern plains and southeast may see wintry weather. Chicago could end the season with 35-40 inches, Detroit 32 to 36, Buffalo over 50, Boston 30-35, and New York City 15-20. February is the final test of winter readiness. Stay patient and safe until spring arrives. The season will end as it began, cold, snowy, and intense. Don't let your guard down. Winter isn't over yet. Two major weather patterns will drive this winter's snow, nor'easters and lake effect snow. Nor'easters are powerful storms along the east coast, bringing heavy snow, strong winds and coastal flooding from D.C. to Maine. They form when a coastal storm meets Arctic air, pulling in Atlantic moisture and dumping heavy snow. This winter's storm track favors several strong nor'easters, so cities like New York, Philadelphia and Boston should be ready. A single nor'easter can shut down entire cities with a foot or more of snow. Lake effect snow is the other big player occurring when cold air flows over the Great Lakes. The lakes add moisture, creating intense snow bands that can drop a foot of snow in one spot while nearby towns get little. Buffalo, Rochester, Erie and Cleveland are in the primary snow belts and will see enormous totals. Frequent Arctic blasts will fuel these events all season. Lake effect snow can make travel impossible and is a way of life in these regions. Understanding these patterns explains why this winter will be so snowy. Nor'easters and lake effect snow are the season's main snow engines. Watch for these storms. They'll define the winter. Stay informed and be ready for rapid changes. The West will also see a powerful winter. The Northern Rockies, Sierra Nevada and Cascades are set for heavy snow, boosting the region's water supply. Denver could see 20-25 inches, while Salt Lake City may reach 30 inches. Great news for ski resorts. The Pacific Northwest's coastal cities will get rain and wind, but the Cascades will be buried in snow. Frequent Pacific storms will create a deep mountain snowpack, vital for water resources. The West's winter will be colder and snowier than average. The heavy mountain snow is as important as the blizzards in the east, it's a crucial part of the natural water cycle. The mountains will be a formidable site, showcasing winter's power. The snowpack will provide much-needed water in spring and summer. Across the country, winter will be active and intense. The West snow is a key part of the season's story. This winter will be colder and snowier than recent years. Don't take it lightly. Preparation is essential for safety and comfort. The comparison to 2013-2014 is serious. That winter brought major disruptions. Start by making sure your heating system works and seal drafts to save on heating bills. Build an emergency kit with flashlights, batteries, first aid supplies, and non-perishable food and water. Prepare your car with winter tires, blankets, a shovel, and emergency supplies. Always check the forecast before traveling, and avoid the roads in bad conditions. Look out for neighbors, especially the elderly or vulnerable. Community spirit can make a big difference during storms. This winter will be long, but smart preparation will help you get through it. Stay informed, stay safe, and help others when you can. Get your coats and shovels ready. Winter is coming. Be ready for whatever it brings. Together, we can weather the storms ahead.